Hmm. Let's see some JavaScript questions. One plus one, right? It should be two, right? Um, number plus string. Um, eleven. All right. That's good. Array minus array. Not a number. Let's see another question. What? I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Hi everyone, this is Gaurav Vega from Angular Coder and today we are going to talk about different type of JavaScript operations and different type of conversions or coercions that happen. Today we are going to talk about a lot of things so please watch the video till the end and like the video if you enjoyed it. So let's begin. Um, we are just adding two numbers that is very simple enough, right? The value will be two. It's very simple enough, right? It's just the addition of two numbers. What happens if we just add two array, two strings? It is similar to what happens in other programming languages. It will simply run 11. 11 is a string so you see in the gray color written below. I add a number with a string. Amazing what ha will happen here. It will again print 11 because if you have addition operation there, addition operand, and then you have a basically a string on the other side, it will try to convert both into same format so it will try to convert whenever you have any higher class a higher kind of object or something anything it will try to convert first into a string so that's why it is converting one into a string and then printing 11 let's see another one so what do you think will happen here when we have an object and then we are adding one i'll give you a time one two three done so the object is generally converted into a string and when you convert an object into a string because you have a string on the other side you're converting the object into a string and that's why you will see object object written here let's move on to array questions why are you running why are you running already so we have an array where we are adding one is in an array and second one also is an array what do you think will happen any guesses the answer will be both are converted into string the values are converted into string and then added up when you convert an array of one element into string it will be simply one and then you added another one into that that also was converted into string when you have string added to it you will see that it is printing as a string one what happens when we subtract the array a minus operation is a different beast altogether since it is a minus operator it will first convert this item into string then you are applying a minus operator when you apply a minus operator the second guy will be converted into a number again because minus plus you can have two strings added together with minus you can't can't have any two strings added together so you get zero because one minus one is zero what do you think will happen when we have multiple items in an array actually it will be converted into a string and then added together the numbers won't be added you can just simply see that it's just adding it converted three one array into string that is three comma one and then it added one comma two as in string and that's why you see three eleven two what do you think will happen when we subtract? Tractor. It will be not a number because you are subtracting a string with another string which is not a number. Let's go for number now. Now what will happen when you add up this thing 1 plus plus 1. It is converted into a number. Applying plus on any string will try to convert a string to number. You are explicitly saying that this if you apply space that doesn't matter it will still convert it in, into a number that's why you will see the value will be 2 here when you have a string and then you have another string with a plus operation here now this guy got converted into a number will get converted into number and then this since this guy is a string the second one will again convert back to a string as you can see in this one this is printed as 11 what will happen here when you have 
minus 1 and then plus 1 in hits as this if you have guessed right this is converted into number and then this is also converted into number and that's why we will have 0 printed <laughs> This is something where which was shown in intro video but if you understand have followed me till now you will know that this guy will convert this guy into a number and then we simply have to see what values are there so let's see the value 2 because you have 1 2 3 4 4 negative numbers that's why it got converted into a positive thing and that's why you printed 2 crazy <laughs> All right, so let's go into another one before we go into deep of equal operator We have to know about what is falsy in uh, in JavaScript Zero not a number These things uh, minus zero plus zero. There is minus zero plus zero in JavaScript falsy numbers You have to understand that what is truthy? What is falsy in JavaScript? It will go into else block as you know three minus a should be an n and NAN is a false operator so again coder is printed so what will happen if you just printed false equals to equals to zero there is two things there is equals to equals to and then they are triple equal to in javascript in this case what will happen is both will be converted into false operation and that's why it will become true because zero is also falsy and first one also is falsy zero will match false nan is not equal to anything in for javascript nan is not even equal to itself if you just save this and try to run this this will also give false so we saw this earlier if you just write nan here it is a falsy thing but nan is never equal to anything else it is only thing in javascript which is not equal to itself and finally we see what will happen if you just write false equals to equals to zero three times if you write equals to it will even check the type of it it will not do coercion internal implicit coercion right to not do implicit type conversion if you now print this it will simply say false this is the last one and what will happen if we have a object which is same implicit converted a cross a equal to equal to b what will happen the answer is this will be false why because it is not implicit converted converted both are objects it is creating a different memory location this guy is creating a different memory location this guy will print true in c you are setting a reference of a again the left hand side is a reference the right hand side is the memory location so this is a different memory location it is created different instance in memory this guy also is created in different instance of memory and then that's why when you do a equal to equal to b it will be always false so that brings us to the end of this video and uh, we are there are a lot of things to be done in javascript there is a lot of things and we can go through that throughout the day and it will not be completed so i have divided this into pieces and this is like one of the parts of it we'll continue to see more videos later and go deeper into understanding this if you have any questions about this equal operators or something just put down that in comment and don't forget to like this video and share this video with your friends if you are if you liked it thank you see you again tomorrow bye bye